today we have done a very intimate gig with some of my uh, um, fans that I guess my closest fans come in and winning competition winners and stuff and um, it's to launch the new Argos store. Thank you so much for having us Argos. Glad to help you celebrate your opening. I really, if I had to name one or two artists that I kind of grew up on, probably would say Stevie Wonder and Carole King, like great soul songwriters. Um, but I listen so much, I love, you know, I love classic rock music. I love, I, I also grew up on very garagey, like UK garage music um, and house music. So I kind of have like, a lot of different stuff I like. I don't know what goes in my head and comes out my mouth or what just stays in my head, but yeah, I hope a bit of everything is kind of coming out of me. I actually just made a July playlist. Um, occasionally I'll just like get really into new music and then be delving into old music too. And it's like on my July playlist, it says it's got um, the Now versus AK Paul song. I think it's called So Good. That I just, I'm obsessed with that song right now. Um, Disclosure's remix of Usher, uh, Good Kisser, is on my playlist. Um, Eric Castle, Pathetic, it's a great song. Uh, just have to check out my sound I'm gonna put it up in a few days. <laughs> I have talked to Argos. I actually bought a phone, like weirdly, a couple of days before they asked me to do the performance. I. Um, I just moved house, so I needed a new phone line, and I bought a phone from Argos. New, uh, the new shop looks very futuristic, all computer screens everywhere. Carrie Bradshaw is my style icon. Um, I think every girl loves her, Sex and the City. I'm always like, every scene I'm like, trying to screenshot the telly and get that own, make my own version of that outfit. My top three items I would have if I was stuck on a desert island would be my record collection. Um, backgammon set and somebody to cuddle. Very important. Well, I've done a few shows over the summer, a little bit of Disclosure and the boys, and I'm also at the same time, I'm back in the studio and working on my next project. So hopefully, I have something to play you by the end of the year, but obviously, that's putting a lot of pressure on myself. Um, but definitely by beginning of next year, springtime, hopefully, an album. That's my aim, don't quote me. <laughs>